Hey guys, today I decided to do a very realistic, not healthy, what I eat in a week video. I have a bad addiction to ordering Uber Eats. Um, I spent a lot of money, so I decided I need to chill. And I need to go on Pinterest and look up easy meal ideas or just meals that I can make at home so I stop spending so much money. Here's what I came up with. The chicken is all seasoned and ready to go, so I'm going to start making this, which this is the directions. I'm going to do this, and then after this is kind of started, then we're going to cook the chicken. Okay, you guys, so the rice is boiling. We are going to turn this down to like low to simmer, and then we're going to cook that for about, let's say like 20, 20 minutes. Start the timer. I have olive oil in this pan for my chicken. Let's cook the chicken breasts. I have it on just like a low setting because the rice has to cook for like 20 minutes. And chicken usually cooks in like 10 minutes if I cook it on like high. Okay, you guys, so my chicken is all cooked. It literally looks so good. I'm going to shred this up. And then what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to cook up some yellow corn tortillas in oil like on the pan. And then I'm going to make just some refried beans, stick some tapatio in it, and then add some cheese to my tacos. This is basically what it's going to be. And then I'll show you guys the final presentation. Okay, you guys, I am back. This is the finished product. I just put beans, cheese, chicken, and tapatio on my little like corn tortillas. And then I made mushroom risotto. So this is one of my meals. Okay you guys, so for dinner tonight, we're going to be making some like Arby's beef and cheddar type sliders. I saw them on Pinterest. I'm addicted to Pinterest, so yeah. We're also going to be making some homemade fries. And so basically all the ingredients you're going to need is I'm using just these little plastic white slider rolls. I've never had them before. Hopefully they're good. Roast beef, some just double cheddar cheese sauce. Um, and then these are all the seasonings that I'm going to be using and then just some little like bagged potatoes right here So I'm going to season up these potatoes with garlic salt pap the littlest bit of paprika I have like none left. It's kind of depressing um, the everything but the bagel Seasoning pepper and then salt. I'm gonna season that and then we're gonna cook those in the air fryer Guys, I'm stupid and forgot that I was filming but this is what the final product looked like just put cheese and all that stuff on there. And then these are what my fries looks like with cheese sauce. This is literally 10 out of 10 I recommend. This is how you get a fat ass. Okay, you guys. So for lunch today, I wanted to have like a chicken salad sandwich because I have two chicken breasts left over from like the last night or whatever. So I just stuck some mayo in the chicken and then I decided that I wanted to have it on bagels. So I'm cooking one bagel right now. We have another bagel right here. And then I'm going to eat it with, I think, chips and dip. I'll show you guys like the final presentation, but like this is what we're working with so far. Okay, you guys, so this is the final product. Um, it's just the chicken with the mayo on a bagel. And then I decided to have some chips and dip. Very, very, very healthy. I know like we love a low calorie meal. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, this is Roman's, this is mine. Okay, you guys, so today I decided that I wanted to make these like chicken ranch cream cheese cheese filled little like crescent roll things. So right now I have chicken that I just cooked up and I just added a little bit of this ranch seasoning packet right here. Also, Elizabeth's back. I'm not going to show her, but she's over there. She moved to New York for a month and then decided that, you know, she missed me too much and she came back. So <laughs> me and her dog. So, yes, this is what we're making. This is the cream cheese right here. We're gonna add all of this stuff, put it in here, and then I'll come back and show you guys what we're gonna do next. So this is the mixture of the chicken, cream cheese, the ranch, and the cheese. And so now I'm going to put a little bit in here and then we're gonna come back. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, you guys, so this is what they look like. Um, I ended up having a lot of the chicken mixture, and so I literally had to pull out another set of crescent rolls and make this many. So I'm going to probably just eat these ones, um, me, Lizzie, and Roman, and then I'm going to probably like just freeze these ones or let like my sisters and whatever eat those. But um, it's it's currently like preheated. It's 10, 18, it's dinner time right now. We have to wait till it gets to 400, then we have to cook these for like 15, 20 minutes. And then after that, um, we decided to be lazy and we're just gonna cook these little like 
instant rice roni things. So me and Lizzie are gonna have the cheese one and then Roman's gonna have the chicken one because we're lazy, so love that. Okay you guys, so this is the final product. This is what they look like. They look so good. And then I added this like creamy buffalo wing sauce. I highly recommend this. It literally tastes so good. And then just some ranch right here. And then that is the rice that I'm going to be eating. It's a little soupy. I cooked it for the time that it said, but it's a little soupy, so I'm just letting it chill. But yeah, this is done. And then these are the other ones that I made. So I have literally so many. So if anyone wants to come over and eat one, hit me up. Hi guys, so for dinner tonight, we are going to be having steak and shrimp with like a Parmesan cream sauce. And then we're also going to have some just some potatoes, which I'm gonna cook up in the air fryer and season up. So Roman is starting to grill right now so we can put these on. But yeah, this is what we are going to make for dinner tonight. Okay guys, so this is what our finished meal looks like. We made this parm cream sauce. And so we have some steak, some potatoes and some shrimp. And then Roman has the same thing, but he also added spinach, but you know, I don't like anything green. So yeah, this is our meal guys. Hi guys, so today I'm gonna be lazy and I decided I'm gonna have mac and cheese and tuna because I just don't like cooking lunch. It's lunchtime right now. I hate cooking lunch, but I don't wanna order food because I order I already ordered food for breakfast. So we're gonna have mac and cheese. We're also gonna have some tuna and then I'm gonna make that and mix that all together. And then I'm gonna have some little salting crackers on the side with it so yeah this is what we're having today for lunch i also decided i'm gonna have some of this it is the sweet cajun fire trail mix um i got it the other day at ross because i went to go get a fall blanket and then i saw this and it reminds me of this girl scout stuff that i used to like like sell and it was really good but it's only like seasonal and so i'm gonna try it out and see if it tastes exactly like it we have the cheesy hash browns Okay, there right now. We're literally done. We basically just have to take them out. I'm waiting for Roman to come over here and I'm take them out. Them. He's here. He's gonna take them out for me. You guys, so with the cheesy potatoes, I decided that I wanted just like little like chicken, bean and cheese, quesadilla type things, but I wanted them on the grill. So we already cooked the chicken on the grill, we shredded it up and all that stuff. This is what it's looking like right now. Okay, you guys, this is the finished product. I just like folded them over, put some tapatio in there, and then here are the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Guys, today we are doing a new recipe. We're going to be doing some pasta with some meatballs. And these are already, I bought them just like pre-made. They're Italian herbs in them and um, some Parmesan cheese are inside of those. So I'm cooking those up. And then I'm going to try the combination of these two sauces I saw in a like mom channel video that I like to watch um, that she mixed spaghetti sauce and Alfredo. And so I'm gonna do that today. I like the prep. Mm, can't even speak. I like the Prego four cheese one, and then I'm just going to try out this Alfredo sauce. I don't. I had this a long time ago. I don't remember what it tastes like. But yeah, I'm gonna do half and half of this, and then we're just going to cook this up, and then we're gonna have it with some garlic bread tonight. You guys, the garlic bread just got done in the air fryer. Um, the meatballs are basically done. I'm just letting them cook on low just for a little bit longer. The noodles are basically done. Like five more seconds literally and then roman just shredded up some mozzarella cheese so we could stick it in the sauce and just make it a lot better so i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done okay you guys so this is the final product i put in just a little bit of spaghetti sauce and just like a little bit of alfredo just enough for like you know like my type of pasta should we do a little bit more actually to make it saucier you think it's saucy enough because like the cheese is kind of like no, i think that's smart. Yes, okay, so we're gonna keep it like this, but the meatballs are in there. There's 12 meatballs, and we cooked up about a cup of pasta. So there we go. There's our little garlic bread. Amazing. Okay, you guys, for dinner tonight, we are having chicken spaghetti. I forgot to record this, but basically what I did was I just cooked noodles, cooked chicken, and then I added two cans of cream of chicken, one can of sour cream, and then some taco seasoning. And I basically just mixed that all up. We're basically going to add a little bit of cheese in it after this is mixed up. Then we're gonna stick it in this baking dish and just apply it. And then we're also going to have to, you know, stick some cheese on top of it. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when everything's in this little, whatever this is called. 
Okay guys, so this is what it looks like in my baking dish. It's almost preheated the oven. It has to get to 350. And then after it's at 350, we're going to we're gonna stick this in the oven for about 25 minutes and then I'll come back and show you guys what the finished product is. Okay you guys, this is the final product. I already plated some of it, but this is what the final product it looks. It looks so freaking amazing. And we're also cooking up some cheesy garlic bread right now to have on the side with it. Hi you guys, so today I had a very, very odd craving for like corn dogs. And so I made some mini corn dogs and then I made some tater tots with ranch, ketchup and mustard. Today's a little like lazy meal, but you know, like this is realistic. This is what I'm eating. And so you guys want to just like a realistic, like actually what I eat. Also, does this kind of look like a base? It kind of looks like a duck to me. Like it looks like a face, like the two eyes and then like there's a legit two dots for a nose and then like a mouth. It's kind of like scary, but like, yeah. The girls want to say hi. Say hi to Nanny. They see that I have food and they both want to get up. No girls. Oh.